Assalamu alaikum students. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I hope you all are well. I'm your English language teacher from Standard Six, Campus One. So in the previous class, we have discussed about simple present tense and present continuous tense. So today we're going to uh, learn about present perfect tense. So let's begin. So before starting with the structure, I want to give you the definition of present perfect tense. So the present perfect tense refers to an action or a verb or state that either occurred at an indefinite time in the past or began in the past and continued to the present time. That means it is not finished yet. It has a, uh, you know, a visual or uh, an example or a result uh, right now. So the tenses structure is uh, like that subject first we need a subject or a, an object which is uh, the which is going to place at the beginning then we will add has or have according to the subject if it is singular number we will add has and if it is plural we will add have and then we will place the verb in the past participle form which is v3 i have mentioned it already in the previous uh, videos and then rest of the sentence example i you we they this type of subjects will contain have so have met him before so i have met him before or you have met him before so met is the past participle form of meet in the next uh, sentence you can see he she it these are our third person singular number so in this subject is it will be adding has so we have added has and then lived lived is the past participle form of leave so has lived here for three years as you can see that these sentences are referring that this uh, started at the past but still uh, uh, you know uh, present in the uh, present time so you have met him before and has lived here for three years next so now we are going to see that when to use this tense first of all to describe an action that is being repeated between the past and present example we have gone to the beach many times next to describe an action that started in the past and is still continuing in the future example i have lived in the united states since 1990 next to describe an action that has not yet been finished like example, it has rained a lot this month. And the next we have to describe an action that was completed in the recent past. Example, I have just finished my internship at the museum. That means the action just completed and its result is uh, it's visible. Lastly, we have that to describe an action when time was not an important aspect. Example, she has lost her teddy bear. So these are the things where we need to use this tense to present perfect. Let's look at this present perfect questions. If we make the sentences into question, how will we make it? We will place WH questions, uh, which are our uh, question patterns that require more information in their answer. Uh, typical WH words are like that, like what, where, when, etc. Let's see. The structure is like that wh word then uh, add have or has after that add subject which is going to play the action in the sentence and then we will place the verb in past participle form example what have i you we or they read lately question mark then why has she or he changed color so these are the example by which you can see that how to make questions. Now we will see present perfect negatives. When creating negative sentences, we usually use hasn't or haven't then past participle of the verb. Look at this table here. Subject, auxiliary verb, then verb in verb uh, past participle form and the rest of the sentence. Examples are like that. I or you or we or they 
haven't or have not in uh, continuous uh, in, in a short form you can write like this ridden a bike in many years next he or she or it which is third person singular number hasn't or has not lost enough weight yet okay now lastly we can see that present perfect uh, will be using for or since in many sentences so how to use it so let's see for for is going to use for a period of time when you are going to mention a period of time we will use for examples she has lived here for 20 years so period of time is given so 20 years next we have we have taught at this school for a long time alice has been quarantined for three months they have been at the hospital for a week so as you can see 20 years a long time months a week is mentioned which is a period of time so that time we are going to use for next we have since which will mention a point in time so let's see example she has lived here since 1980 so it is mentioning the point in time in 1980 we have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been quarantined since March 2nd. Lastly, we have they have been at the hostel since last Tuesday. As you can see, it is mentioning the time which it began. So a point in time is mentioned that time we are going to use since. So these are the difference between for and since when to use it. So this is it. Thank you so much for your for, uh, for looking at this video. I hope you will be benefited. Thank you so much.